peace be with you. Let us all go through a reading from the Bible and grow with its teachings. Please share to your friends and loved ones so that they will also be enlightened by the teachings of the Lord. Thank you and may God bless us all. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 to 18 Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. We will look at three elements of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 to 18. First is be joyful. Verse 16 says, Rejoice always. A Christian cannot lose their salvation, but they can lose the joy of their salvation. David prayed, Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Psalm chapter 51 verse 12. After he had sinned with Bathsheba. Joy is not always a feeling, but a way of living. Always is tough. It was Paul's word to the church at Thessalonica, Philippi, and to us today. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Philippians chapter 4 verse 4. How can you always be joyful when everything is not joyful? It is a choice. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 says, The joy of the Lord is your strength. Joy is the fruit of the Spirit. Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. John chapter 15 verse 5. He goes on to say, these things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. John chapter 15 verse 11. The key word is, abide. Joy is found in Jesus. The joy of the Lord is our strength. David said the Lord's salvation is what brought him joy. We can be joyful in him, even when our circumstances are not good. We are not always going to feel it, but we have to choose to rejoice our feelings will follow. Second is be prayerful. Pray continually, says verse 17. We have to keep on praying, living in a constant attitude of prayer. Colossians chapter 4 verse 2 says, devote yourselves to prayer, always pray and never give up. Pray for big things. Pray thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Pray for God's agenda. Pray scripture. Pray for revival and world missions. Pray for God to hold back his hand of judgment and pray for his hand of blessing. Prayer is not to get God to move toward you, but to get you to move toward God. If you only pray when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. The psalmist said, Early will I seek thee. Start your day with prayer and devotional reading. You have heard it said, All's well that ends well. No. All's well that begins well. Continue praying throughout your day. Stay in constant communication with Him. Prayer is the difference between what we can do and what God can do. There is a connection between prayer and praise. And third, be thankful. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus, says verse 18. There are so many verses that tell us to be thankful. The psalmists were thankful in the Old Testament, and we are told again and again to be thankful in the New Testament. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 4, Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 to 7, and Colossians chapter 3 verse 15. It is not always easy to be thankful, but notice, it does not say to thank God for all things, but in all things. God desires for us to be joyful, prayerful, and thankful at all times. To know the will of God and not do it, is a sin. God never commands us to do something that he will not enable us to do. God thus the impossible. He is the way maker. You may say, but I feel like a hypocrite giving thanks when I don't feel like it. We do not live the Christian life on feelings but on faith. If we obey God, the sincerity and feelings will follow. We walk by faith and not by sight. In faith, 
hope, and love we can be joyful, prayerful, and thankful. Please help spread the word of the Lord by sharing this video. Again, thank you and may God bless us all always.